hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will uh, continue our discussion with uh, satellite communication and uh, we'll take forward the orbital parameters discussion so far we have discussed uh, several orbital parameters and events associated with it uh, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, some more orbital parameters as I said in the uh, starting video of orbital parameters there are around eight or nine orbital parameters which are uh, important when it comes to uh, the satellite communications discussions so in today's video we are going to discuss about uh, inclination uh, argument of perigee true anomaly of satellite and uh, right ascension of ascending node okay so we have already discussed about ascending and descending nodes so it will be used here so we know uh, the satellite orbit it cuts the equatorial plane at two points and uh, those two points are called as nodes two nodes so the descending node is one where the satellite makes transition or movement from northern to southern hemisphere okay it crosses the northern hemisphere and enters into the southern hemisphere that's the descending node and ascending node is one at the point where the satellite in its orbit crosses the equator and moves from southern hemisphere to northern hemisphere okay and also uh, uh, to explain the uh, right ascension we will require another uh, term which is equinox so we have already discussed about equinox and solstice so you please watch the previous videos first so equinox uh, is uh, an event where the solar declination angle is zero and uh, where the subsolar point that is the line joining the center of the sun and the earth it passes exactly through the equatorial line that's equinox it happens in uh, two uh, times a year the autumnal equinox and the spring equinox or the vernal equinox so how is the right ascension of ascending node is related to the ascending and descending node and the equinox event so the right ascension of ascending node it means it is related to these two nodes okay uh, descending and ascending nodes so it tells us about the orientation or the direction of the line of the nodes okay the line joining the two nodes the ascending node and the descending node so it is actually the line joining the ascending and descending nodes measured or uh, its direction is measured with respect to the direction of the vernal equinox or the spring equinox so equinox is basically this okay when the line joining the center of the sun and the center of the earth it is exactly passing through the equatorial line so i have already discussed in detail about equinox and solstice in a separate video you please watch that video first and also watch the video related to ascending and descending nodes okay so this right ascension of ascending node is this angle between the vernal equinox line that is this 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 line okay which is passing exactly through the equatorial line and then the line joining the descending and ascending nodes okay line joining the descending and ascending nodes so the angle between the vernal equinox line and the line joining the ascending and descending node that is called as the right ascension of ascending node okay and it is expressed uh, in terms of uh, as an angle okay measured from the vernal equinox towards the line joining the nodes in the direction of rotation of the earth and this angle could be anywhere from in between 0 to 0 degree to 360 degree what is its significance it will we will discuss uh, from the point of view of satellite communication we'll discuss when 
that uh, topic comes up here there is no need to unnecessary drag that topic i will discuss it how it affects satellite communication when the topic comes up that time i will just use the term right ascension of ascending node then you will understand what it means okay so it is this angle between the vernal equinox line and the line joining the ascending and descending nodes okay this angle and this is the equatorial plane okay next is inclination so inclination is basically the angle formed between the orbital plane of the satellite and the earth's equatorial plane so as the satellite it uh, uh, moves around earth in a, in a circular or elliptical orbit it forms a plane okay a plane which is called as the orbital plane and also the equatorial line the line which divides the earth into two equal halves the northern and southern hemisphere the plane passing through the equator that is called as the equatorial plane so we can imagine it as something like this the plane passing exactly uh, dividing the earth into two equal halves passing through the equatorial line that is called as the equatorial plane and the plane formed by the satellite's orbital path around earth that is called as the orbital plane so obviously they are at some angle with respect to each other they form an angle between them which is very important so this angle between the earth's equatorial plane and orbital plane this angle between them this angle between them that is called as the angle of inclination okay so angle of inclination or inclination angle is the angle between earth's equatorial plane and the satellite's orbital plane which is moving around earth okay so that is the angle of inclination so we have discussed about right ascension and inclination right ascension of ascending node and inclination next is argument of perigee so perigee you all know that uh, perigee and apogee there are two uh, parameters involved with respect to orbital path so perigee is the maximum distance or separation and apogee uh, sorry perigee is the minimum separation distance and apogee is the maximum separation distance so like this see here apogee is the maximum separation distance between the earth's center and the orbital path or the position of the satellite and perigee is the minimum separation between the satellite and its orbital path and the center of the earth so the smaller distance is perigee the maximum distance is apogee i have already made a video related to this apogee perigee eccentricity uh, semi major axis semi minor axis so you please watch that video so the argument of perigee it 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 tries to define the location of the major axis okay the major axis of the satellite orbit so it is uh, measured with respect to an angle which is called as argument of perigee so it is an angle formed okay between the line joining the center of the earth and the perigee point or the minimum separation distance point and the line joining the ascending and descending node so argument of perigee is the angle between the line joining the center of the earth and the perigee point and the line joining the ascending and descending nodes so that's why i discussed all these you know orbital parameters one by one in step okay if i combined everything in one video it would have been very uh, you know confusing so i discussed those things that are required first then i went on to the uh, the deeper levels so argument of perigee remember is the angle formed between two lines one line is the line joining the center of the earth and the perigee point and the line joining the ascending and descending nodes so it is used to uh, know the direction of the semi major 
axis sorry of the major axis or line joining the apogee and perigee points so uh, this is the argument of perigee next is true anomaly of satellite so this parameter it is uh, actually used to define or to locate the instantaneous position of a satellite in any given time so in order to do that we have to define the reference so this uh, the the angular position of a satellite you can say is uh, measured with respect to the angle formed between the line joining again the perigee and the center of the earth and the line joining the center of the earth and the satellite so true anomaly of satellite is the angular position of the satellite in the orbit at any given point of time and it is measured by an angle formed between two lines one line is joining the center of the earth and the perigee or you can say the line joining the apogee and perigee because the same thing so you remember it is the line joining the center of the earth and perigee and the line joining the center of the earth and the satellite at any given position in the orbit so this angle formed between the two that is called as the true anomaly of satellite so you can see uh, from this angle we can measure the position of the satellite at any given point of time in its orbit suppose the satellite is here it would have been here like this and the angle would have been more so this is about true anomaly of satellite so here we have discussed about uh, various orbital parameters uh, such as the right ascension of ascending node about uh, inclination okay uh, and then about argument of perigee and true anomaly of satellite and uh, so far we have covered most of the orbital parameters so if anything uh, of importance is left i will make a video on that so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much